Hello, this is Brandon from HP Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to do a quick video on uh, some my top five games for Honeycomb and also I wanted to do a little bit of a HDMI mirroring demo. As you can see, it's a full mirror. So if I turn the zoom off, my uh, TV goes off too. Okay, so now we're back in and uh, as you can see, runs smoothly. Uh, if you want to know the specs, the TV is a Samsung 42 inch 720p. It's not a 1080p TV, which is fine because these only output to 720 right now, anyways. There's a rumor that might change in a future update, so hopefully, which won't help me any. Uh, during this demo, if you see any red uh, running through the center of the screen, that is not from the HDMI mirroring. My pro uh, TV has a burn in that hasn't been repaired yet, so keep that in mind. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, let's get into my top five games here. Uh, of course, Angry Birds. All of the Angry Birds games have been optimized for the zoom. And they look beautiful. They run with absolutely no lag, which makes sense because it's a very simple game. Uh, Pinch the Zoom works perfectly, as you can see. Uh, I just stole a couple birds here just to show you. Not exactly my best game going here. But there you go, you get the idea. Of course, all the Angry Birds are free in the market, so. Uh, <clears throat> second would be Stupid Zombies, which is a game I fell in love with on my phone, and it works excellently on Honeycomb 2. Uh, I didn't even realize they had optimized it. But, uh, show you a little bit here. I'm gonna do horribly. Uh, if you haven't played this game, it's a very fun game. Uh, all you do is kill zombies. <laughs> Less bullets, the better. Of course, always in Zombie Wars. <laughs> but uh, definitely a game worth checking out. I think there's around 400 levels on it, and it's all free. So very nice. Uh, if you have the ad version, though, if you have ads showing, they show at the bottom sometimes. They're showing a really bad spot. But uh, I imagine they'll probably fix that in a future update. Uh, I also want to show Crazy Snowboard. Let me turn my volume down a little bit here because my TV's kind of loud. <laughs> Uh, Crazy Snowboard is a really cool game on the phone or Zoom. Uh, you use the Zoom to tilt and uh, it gives you two virtual buttons to uh, control your direction when you're in the air and tricks. Uh, it also has a feature where you're supposed to be able to use your phone as a Wi-Fi controller and your Zoom, or in this case the Zoom hooked to the TV as a screen. I have not been able to get that feature to work. Uh, I guess some people have, so maybe it's just my phone. Maybe they'll get that fixed in a future edition. Give you a little bit of play through here. We're just going to do a little quick free ride. Uh, when you're in the air, it's the only time the controls display. You tilt to control. You have uh, on this side, you'll have a uh, trick modifier, and on this side, you'll have a small uh, directional pad so you can control your direction in, in the air. Uh, and the only other control you hold down on the screen to crouch and let go at the top of a ramp, and that will jump you. And as you can see, it's telling you all this that I just told you right here. So let's get into it. Show you a little bit. Keep in mind I'm tilting. So up and do a little spin here. There we go. Got a nice little bonus off of that. Uh, the black where you see the bottom turning black, it actually does that on my phone too. I think it's more about the game than about the zoom. So keep that in mind. Uh, not the greatest graphical game, but a fun game. And it looks pretty good too. I mean, especially now that I'm seeing it on the big screen. So uh, keep that one in mind. That's a, a very fun game to play. Uh, then also I want to show you, this is the last free game. But uh, this is Speed X 3D free and full. I am so addicted to this game on my phone and my Zoom that it's really sad. I could play this game all the time. Uh, if you've ever played this game like Vacuum, this is a lot the same, but graphically, it's a lot better. And uh, there are stages, and I can't get the credits to work for some reason, it always tells me I don't have a connection, but besides that, as you can see, you go through and you're in a tunnel and it'll change shapes and you dodge blocks. There are three different pickups you can do. The orange ones are simple shields for one block, like that one right there. You can get up to three of those, but they do degrade, so you'll run out if you don't have any. Oh, um, there's also some that clear the way, some that shoot you straight through the way. A very fun game, like I said, very addictive. 
this is one of the easier levels. Uh, it gets extremely hard. So if you like this kind of game, you will love this. I mean, it's an awesome game. As you see, I died there, but I cannot get off of that game enough. Um, Cordy, right here, I'm not putting it in my top five. I just wanted to show you because a lot of people love this game. And it runs very well on here. And uh, it's a neat game. Uh, all the first two levels are free. After that, it uses the in-app purchase process, so you can purchase more levels and costumes for Gordy and stuff. This one runs with a bit of lag on uh, HDMI sometimes, though. I don't know why. I'm, I'm rooted, but I'm still running at a, uh, 1 gigahertz instead of 1.5 like a lot of people. So, um, Gun Brothers looks excellent on here, uh, but I don't really want to show you all of them because I just want to give you my top five. The last game, my absolute top game, is a paid game. It's a uh, 508, I believe, in the market. It's a little over five dollars, but it's Samurai Vengeance 2. If you're a fan of hack and slash games, this is an absolutely amazing game. Oh, sorry about that. Phone ringing, guys. Um, this game is just really fun, and uh, some people complain it gets repetitive, and it does a little bit. But what hack and slash game doesn't? <laughs> Even Left 4 Dead 2 and zombie shooting games like that does. Your controls are here. Here's your directional pad. High hit, low hit, and hurry up out of the way. So let's give you a little demo of this game. Very fun game. Not all your enemies look like that. This is actually a boss battle. So I have been so addicted to this game. And it's a very beautiful game. It's drawn in the style of a Jet Ground Radio or Jet Set Radio Future, if you remember those on Dreamcast and uh, Sega. Uh, so, very cool game. Very worth the five dollars if you like that kind of game. Uh, a few honorable mentions: Dungeon Defenders looks very good. Uh, Gun Brothers, Vendetta Online looks excellent. It's just not my kind of game. Uh, Glow Hockey. I'll show you a quick bit of it. Uh, it's not gonna work on the HDMI. I forgot because it's sideways. But just so you get an idea of the game, I don't understand why they haven't made this game two player. <laughs> because it would be perfect for two player but as of right now only single player but a very fun just little simple hockey game like I said not so good on the big screen because it's the wrong way but <laughs> but you get the idea uh, I'm show you a couple more things just on the HDMI mirroring because I know a lot of people are interested in that web pages on the HDMI mirroring look awesome they really look great uh, don't forget guys the little bit of red you see there is it's uh, my TV's fault the mirroring is perfect, but as you see, very smooth, very fluid, perfect. You can easily set and look at stuff on your TV. Uh, Pitch to zoom works, but it's a little finicky over the connection, and I don't know why. But all in all, works great. Um, the YouTube app works. Uh, I, ha I used to have a little trouble with it, like it would crash when I would try to use it, but lately it's been working, so. So you. Uh, just a little quick video hey, clip on it. I'm Noah from Tech, little Noah. And, uh, this Good is reviewer if you want to follow him. One of my favorites. As you can see, it's a little on, uh, grainy on the app. Uh, it actually does a little better if you go on the actual page and do it. I've noticed, especially since the uh, flash update. So, uh, like I said, there's your quick demo of the HDMI mirroring. Uh, I do kind of hate the fact that you can't like watch a movie and turn it off and you know it stays off and the TV stays on but you know maybe there'll be a hack for that later who knows um all in all works like it should on HDMI mirroring it's a it's a neat feature you know we'll see what they do with it in the future I actually wish it would, could be used the other way around and I could use this as a second monitor too that would be awesome but I don't think hardware wise that's there so uh hope you guys enjoyed that definitely check out the games remember uh, all the games I show today were free except for the last levels of Cordy and uh, Samurai Vengeance is a paid app but very worth the money uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, any questions comments uh, feel free to list them below the video um, follow me on Twitter it's a uh, uh, of course twitter.com at Buddha HB uh, hope you guys enjoy uh, hope you guys enjoy your Zoom tablets, and I hope you enjoy all your Android devices, actually. So <laughs> have a good one, guys.